mother of Victoria Martins took a plea deal today, resulting in most of the charges against her being dropped. But we've also learned a shocking new detail. Another man who is still out there was involved in Victoria's murder. And most of what we thought we knew about this case may not be true. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at District Court with more. Madeline. Yeah, well, Kim, we got a last minute call that Michelle Martins would appear before Judge Charles Brown. It was then announced that she had reached a plea deal that would cut her sentence from possible life to as little as 12 years. Martins pleaded guilty to just one of the 19 charges she faced reckless child abuse resulting in death. In August of 2016, APD said Michelle Martins, Fabian Gonzalez, and Jessica Kelly raped, murdered, and dismembered 10 year old Victoria Martins at Michelle's West Side apartment. Victoria's body was found burned and wrapped in a blanket. An autopsy revealed she had alcohol in her system and that there was evidence of sexual assault. But today in court, the DA's office announced that their investigation shows a very different timeline of events from the one presented by APD. They say in the hours leading up to Victoria's death, Michelle and Fabian were out doing drugs, leaving Victoria with Jessica Kelly, despite knowing Kelly was also on drugs and acting erratically. And when Michelle and Fabian eventually arrived to the apartment later that day, Michelle claims she saw Jessica carrying Victoria unresponsive, wrapped in a blanket, but didn't do anything and never checked on her daughter after that. OMI says by that point, Victoria was dead. She neglig negligently and without justification caused her to be tortured and caused a substantial and unjustifiable risk to the safety and health of Victoria. And as a result, Victoria was murdered by strangulation. As part of this plea deal today, Michelle Martins agreed that she will testify against Fabian Gonzalez and Jessica Kelly. She faces between 12 and 15 years in prison. That charge she pleaded to carries up to 18 years. Now, you may remember that initially Michelle Martins told police that she was there when Victoria was killed. But coming up at 430, you'll hear from her attorney who explains why she said that despite what we learned in court today. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now, after that plea deal with Michelle Martins was announced, District Attorney Raul Torres held a news conference to explain did the decision. That's when he dropped that bombshell. They believe there was another man there when Victoria was killed. We continue our team coverage with News 13's Marissa Lucero, who's live downtown at District Court. Well, Kim, you're right. This is a high profile and a very emotional case. Now, the DA had a very long prepared statement ready outlining why they did this, defending the plea deal, and of course, dropping that shocking detail. As you mentioned, there's still another suspect out there. There is no physical evidence linking Fabian Gonzalez to that specific crime and no independent forensic evidence that Michelle Martins knowingly permitted her daughter to be sexually assaulted on that day or at any other time. <laughs> Now, Torres said he had a team review the case over the past year or so with new experts. They found there's no evidence Martins and Gonzalez were home when Victoria was raped and murdered in the early evening of August 23rd, 2016. As initial investigators thought, he said that they still believe Martins and Gonzalez are guilty of child abuse for leaving Victoria in the care of Jessica Kelly, a convicted rapist and drug dealer. Torres then announced a huge twist in the case. Tests showed it it was not Fabian Gonzalez's DNA on Victoria's body. It belongs to an unidentified male. Given the specific location of the unknown male DNA on her body, we have determined that at least one unidentified man was involved in this crime and never apprehended. Torres announced today that many of Gonzalez's charges will be dropped, including murder and rape. He's still looking at reckless child abuse resulting in death and tampering with evidence and up to 18 years in prison. Investigators still believe Gonzalez tried to clean up the murder scene and help dismember Victoria's body to dispose of it. Uh, Torres also said today, as of right now, they do not have a plea deal in the works with Fabian Gonzalez. His trial is set to begin in mid-October. Kim? Okay, thanks, Marissa. Now, the DA essentially said there were major holes and mistakes in the case that APD handed his office. In a statement from APD, the department says its detectives have been instrumental this year in unraveling the misleading statements Michelle Martins made initially to police in her interview. 
Now, at this point, Jessica Kelly is still facing all 23 counts against her. Now, Gonzalez and Martins have always pointed the finger at her. I tried my best to protect oh, Michelle and the baby. But what happened then? Why is there a girl that's dead? That's because Jessica Kelly did it. Kelly's trial is scheduled for January. Now, as we mentioned, Michelle Martins faces 12 to 15 years under her plea deal. She'll be sentenced after she testifies in the other two trials. Stay with News 13 for the latest on all the developments in the case, both on air and online at krqe.com.